Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. This is my second one regarding Ortho 4XP and will be much more detailed and advanced, compared to the first edition. And because I do not want to cause confusion, this video will replace the old version completely. This means that I will start over, from the beginning. As always, I will try and make the video as comprehensive but also as easy as possible to understand and follow. Just one more thing before we start. In case you were wondering, I have not replaced Skymatics, at this time. I am in fact a clever AI text-to-speech program, that he is experimenting with. He is very impressed with me and I hope you will be too. Let us start with step 1, obtaining the program. To download the Ortho 4 XP program, we need to go to the forum and find the download link because, the developer, Oscar Pilot, has added the link to his forum signature. And for your convenience, I have also put the links, in the description below the video. To find the download link on the forum, you need to look at Oscar's signature. Please click on the link for the Windows binary for version 1.30 to open the download on his Google Drive. To start the download, simply click on the button and follow the prompts, as per your browser's download function. In the event that Google warns you that it cannot scan the file for viruses, you may ignore the warning and proceed to download the file. After downloading the software you will need to decide where to install it. I recommend that you have the program and source files on the same hard drive, where you will keep your completed tiles. It makes it much easier to move the files for management purposes. I have a dedicated 6TB hard drive so I will install it as shown. Go ahead and make a folder and call it something like Ortho Scenery. Then extract the program files into your chosen position. The way that I do it, is to simply extract the program folder to the same hard drive. Once you have the folder and the program in place, we need to find the program and copy a shortcut to your chosen location. The program file is located in the binary folder. For this tutorial I will simply create a shortcut to my desktop, as shown. Once this operation is completed, I recommend that you browse back to the hard drive root and minimize or move the window until later. You may also move or delete the ortho 4 xp zip file at this time. Our next step will be to run the program for the first time. The program will then create additionally required folders for us. You may minimize this background window but do not close it. The next step that we need to complete will be to configure the application to make it work as we require it to work. We do this by clicking on the first big icon with the screwdriver. This will open up and display the relevant settings page. If the original settings are important to you, please take a screenshot now, for future reference. Hi there, hello, sorry to interrupt, but I have a quick public service announcement before we continue. The following settings that you are about to see are based on a personal choice and is not cast in stone. There is therefore no right or wrong here. The method that will be described here is aimed at enthusiasts and novice users, not experts. This tutorial is made to make it easy and simple to make your own Ortho 4 XP. And lastly, please respect the copyrights of the source owners. The product created with this tool is for personal use only. So, with that announcement out of the way, let us look at the settings that I propose for this tutorial. I will provide a brief description for you, with every setting. I would like you to understand the reason for using them and why it will be better to use them, instead of the old settings that we used before. The first setting called APT Smoothing Picks, at the top left corner of the page, needs to be set to 32. This will increase the natural smoothness of the airport and runway elevations. The next setting is the curvature toll. Do not change this unless you have a very capable system. The default value is 2. And even I, still use it as it will use way more resources to produce more mesh triangles to better depict elevation changes. You may try a value of 1.5 to see if your system can actually handle it. 
just remember to restore it if you struggle to use it. Next up, we have three settings working together. The ratio water, mask zoom level and the use masks for inland settings. It is very important to note that these setting works in conjunction with each other. By changing mask zoom level to 15, using masks for inland to be true and then have ratio water at a value of 1, you will achieve the following. Avoid ugly water patches and blending with photos, as it will remove the photos of water, from the scenery. It will also smooth the water transitions between land and water. The next setting, at the top right corner of the page, is another one that requires additional settings to make it work correctly. This setting will automatically increase the zoom level of the orthos around the airports. It is up to you to decide the radius distance that you need it to perform its task. This is set by the cover extent setting. In my example it is set to 10 nautical miles around the airports. It does not matter how big or small the airports are. My cover zoom level is set to 17, as I use zoom level 16 for my normal tile setting. The cover extent and zoom level can be adjusted to suit yourself. The next setting is the use, decal on terrain setting. You either love it or hate it. It will change your ortho 4xp photos, in the simulation to look sharp and textured instead of just smooth like a mirror that only gets definition at higher altitudes of the ground. The benefit, is that you do not need a third-party application to do this for you but at the same time, you cannot choose a specific decal when you use this feature. To complete the configuration settings we now need to choose the custom, dam provider. In my example I do not use HD mesh but rather download mesh to integrate with my Ortho 4 XP. I prefer to use viewfinder panorama. The last two settings must now be set to allow proper creation of your Ortho 4 XP tiles and overlays. Custom scenery directory and custom overlay source is vital to set correctly. If you ever want to make Orthos in Seattle, you will need to change the custom scenery path to reflect the demo folder, please remember that. My settings does not reflect that on screen right now. My final tip on this page, is aimed at saving you time in the future. After applying the changes by clicking on apply, I recommend that you save them. If you want to save the settings, you need to click on the right app CFG button to save it and have the program remember them in future. Once that is completed, you may press exit. Please note. The custom dem option is not saved during this process and you will have to re-specify this every time that you create new ortho tiles. I am not sure why this one line item does not save. To make this tutorial as easy as possible to understand, I am going to leave the source settings on this page, as they are. You are most welcome to change the provider to suit your coverage area better, if you have to. All that I am going to do is to specify the destination folder, to where I want Ortho 4 XP to put my created tiles and then we can go look at the map. I will therefore point my destination folder to the folder we created in the beginning of this video. You can open the map by clicking on the icon with the earth on it. I will maximize the map, to see better and then use my right mouse button, to click and drag the map to where I would like to make my tiles. Use your left mouse button to double click on an area, to mark it. This will set a yellow block on the map. Next you will have to hold your keyboard shift button down and use the left button on the mouse, to click and select the tiles that you want to make. On my internet connection it takes about an hour and a half, per tile, to make one tile. Some users are lucky and they get a tile every 30 minutes. It all depends on your zoom level and internet download speeds. And now, before you start you have to select the correct settings on the left hand side of the page, as I do. Assemble vector data. Triangulate 3D mesh. Draw water masks. Build imagery DSF. And lastly extract overlays, or else you will have no auto gen or cars on the road. When you are ready, you may proceed by clicking on the batch build button. That will initiate the process of downloading, converting and making the images and complete tiles, as requested. If you are curious, and would like to watch the operation, as it happens, you may switch back to the other screen or split your screen to view both windows. As the tiles complete, the red markings will be removed. If you click on the refresh button the completed tile will now show again but in a different color and it will have the source provider identification, written on them. The main window, will display a message when the operations is completed. 
you may now close the program and proceed to add the orthos into X-Plane. Installing Ortho 4 XP into X-Plane, takes a bit of concentration and effort in the beginning but, once you understand the process it is really easy. Maximize or reopen the window that we had earlier. The one showing the hard drive and ortho folders. Then, also open your X-Plane folder. When ready, browse to your X-Plane custom scenery folder and scroll to the end and leave it like that. Now, go to your ortho drive and folders. Open the ortho 4 XP folder and right click then cut the overlay folder that you find in there. We want to move it to the tiles folder to keep them together. Go to your tile folder, where we told the program to put the newly created tiles and paste the overlay folder in there. You will now see the three folders from this tutorial, next to each other. You must highlight the three folders and then right click on the selection on the context menu. Select copy and go to the X-Plane custom scenery folder. Put your mouse in the folder. Here you need to right click again and select paste shortcut, specifically. It is very important. Do not copy or move the folders. We really only want the shortcuts in our X-Plane. Especially if you have a SSD hard drive with limited space available. If you are not using X-Organizer. You will have to start X-Plane to let it rebuild the scenery packs INI file and then manually, edit the file to put the ortho files, at the bottom or just above your HD mesh. If you use X-Organizer, simply start the process of adding the scenery, and close X-Organizer when done. At this time, you may now start X-Plane and go see the tiles that you have just created. Music